Hi, this two minute tip is about bow angles. We've all heard that you're supposed to turn your stick towards you, but why and how much? The way you figure that out is by holding your bow in between like one finger in each hand here, letting it just hang. My hair in this instance is facing the ground because that's where gravity is. Gravity is down. And when I just put my bow onto the string with that hair facing down, now I'm on the inner edge of the hair and my stick is turned just a little bit towards me. Now I can really let my arm weight go down into the bow in order to make a big solid sound. So that's one of the kind of angles. Then the other kind of angle that we need to deal with is how to get around the curvature of the bridge, right? We know, I think most of us, that if we play a note on the G string, and we're keeping our bow pretty straight to the G string, and if I just roll myself over to the D string, you can see right now, if you look at how this is against the bottom window, the bottom frame here, that that's not straight. Straight on the D string is more like that. And so one easy way to practice this bow angling, really for all levels, because even really advanced players have trouble sometimes figuring out how to get cleanly from string to string, is put your bow somewhere. You can try it a lot of different places. Put yourself in the middle of the bow, turn on a zoom window or get out a camera, and just look and say, okay, that's straight. If I go down to the C string and I just angle it down, whoops, that doesn't look straight. What do I need to do to be straight on the C, straight on the G, straight on the D, and okay. adjust your arm your hand sometimes needs to go forward or back, elbow up or down, and just work on where is straight on all the different strings. It's a silent exercise. Where is straight at the frog? So that as you're changing strings, you have a sense of where your bow needs to go in order to be in the correct lane for each string. Happy practicing.